I am live. Hello. Happy Friday, everyone. I've been a little MMA this week. It's been a very um, rough week. Um, some days, maybe you guys can relate. You are just in this funk, in this, you know, mental space where just you're all that anxiety comes crashing down or things just don't go well or you're just struggling, right, to get through the week. So I had one of those weeks um, started off this morning not feeling like I honestly wanted to get out of bed. Um, but it got better throughout my day um, and I got I got through it. Um, but I think you have those times sometimes and you just need time and then push through it. So here I am. Um, I still wanted to go live tonight. I am a little late. I actually forgot that I was supposed to go live tonight um, at 8 o'clock. <laughs> but um, I'm here. So if you are on, let me know you're here and I'm available to answer any of your questions. Um, recently, um, I stopped into a sneaker. It's called, actually called a sneaker store, but it's a running store for um, runners. Um, and I am planning on hopefully working with them and coming in and speaking. So that is super, super, super exciting. Um, and I'm super excited to work with those runners there. But of course, I'm here for all of you that watch me. Any questions that you guys have? Um, and just, I guess, a question that I will start off with a little bit. Um, talking about as people start hopping on. Hopefully a few people will hop on here soon. But um, I was working with um, a client later or earlier today, um, and this question came up um, about, um, what did he, he asked me about what to eat before a run and, and electrolytes, right? So I think this is um, a really good, good topic um, to talk about. So pre, pre workout or pre run, um, my recommendation is to, and what I've read and researched, right? Not just my opinion, um, but carbs and protein and fats, right, are most important. Um, definitely, um, carbs are what are most important before you run to make sure you feel so to give your muscles fuel, right? To give your muscles that glycogen to get through your run. If it's a longer run, you may need to get some nutrition during the run. Um, so that might be something that you have to figure out what you're going to take with you to take if you're going for a longer run. So that's anywhere, you know, usually over 60 minutes. So if you're going, you know, sometimes on a 10 mile run, maybe an hour and a half, I don't always carry something with me, like a goo or something like that to take, um, or electrolytes, but um, it is important, it will help, um, and I have gone on longer runs without anything, and I can tell you it is horrible. Um, you do not feel well, and especially during races, I definitely really, really, really try to do a lot better with this. Um, but I would say, you know, anywhere between over 10 miles um, and more, especially over, you know, really an hour, hour and a half, you're going to want to fuel during. Um, but we'll get into that. But pre, pre-run. Um, so my recommendation is to get up early. Like if you're going on a long run, maybe Saturday, right? Tomorrow, Saturday. Um, I'm still going to rest my foot another day, but hoping I can get out there on Sunday. But usually Saturdays are my longer runs, right? So what I usually do is I get up in the morning. Um, I get up early and make sure at least an hour before um, to make sure that I eat breakfast. And it is important to eat breakfast because, like I said, you need those. Your body needs those carbohydrates for fuel. Your body needs for glycogen, right? So your muscles need that. So what I typically have, um, I used to do oatmeal. Oatmeal is great, um, but if you know, because oatmeal is high in fiber, if that doesn't work for you and you have GI issues during your run, then maybe you don't want to do oatmeal, right? So it's also figuring out what works for you. Um, oatmeal is great because it keeps you, I think, because it keeps you full, right? Because it's high in fiber. So that could be good to get you through your run um, and has carbohydrates. Um, but what I have been doing a lot often 
or a lot more often um, that I've been really enjoying is a bagel with avocado. So you've got your carbohydrates and fats, right? Or you could do a bagel with almond butter. That's another one. Um, what else could you do? You could do oatmeal. Um, but basically you want to get, you know, a source of carbohydrates are one of the most important. And then either a little bit of protein or a little bit of fat in there, and that'll help too. So that's pre, pre-run, right? Um, and also, electrolytes are also important. So when you're running for a longer distance, you're going to want electrolytes. Um, and that is because you're sweating, right? You sweat, you lose sodium, right? You lose potassium, you lose those electrolytes from your body. So you need to replace them, especially in hot weather, when it's warm out. Now, today's the first day of summer, right? We're going to be running on our long runs, probably going to be hot, and you're going to be running over an hour, right? So you're going to want to replace some of those electrolytes, and that will help you to keep your pace, right? It's going to help you not balk. It's going to not, you know, so you don't feel like you're going to, you're going to pass out, right? Or, you know, prevent dehydration, heat strokes, things like that. Um, I have almost experienced a heat stroke and it is not fun, um, not what you want to do. Um, you know, training runs, though that's what they're good for too, is to learn what works for you. Um, but for electrolytes, I would say, you know, an hour, two hour before, drink some electrolytes eat before you run, you know, while you're eating your breakfast, wait, you know, at least an hour or so, and then go on your run. Um, and then during, you may want to bring some water electrolytes with you. And you may also want goose or something else to eat during the race, too. That's also really important, right? Um, because if you're going on a long run, you know, you're going to need to replace high glycogen. So goos are very popular with runners. Um, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, let me show you. Oh, where did they go? Sorry, I'm back. <laughs> so these are what I have for my goose. Um, there's a brand called Goose. That's why I guess they're really energy gels, but <laughs> I call them Goose. Um, this is Huma. They are natural, vegan friendly, gluten free. Super excited to try these. Um, I have heard of someone I was just talking to that does not like them, so I'm a little scared. But I'm also really excited to start running just to try these because once they start training again, I'm super excited to try these. So um, I hope I like them. I have a whole box. So those are my gel, energy gels that I will, I know, take a couple with me. I think for a half marathon and a race, um, I don't think I really use more than two. So it really just depends on the length of your training run, right, how many you're going to have. I do think on here it tells you every 30, 45 minutes. I think I've always been told or tried to do every 45 minutes. Um, but I know myself and I know my body that, like, over an hour, like, every hour, you know, every 45 minutes to an hour is probably where I need it. I know, like, once I'm over that hour mark, I'm really starting to feel it, right? Electrolytes. Um, I just bought these. So, you know, for electrolytes, there's lots of things out there, right? Um, lots of different things, that, different products that you can try. Um, I have not tried these before, but I decided I wanted to do these. These are tablets, um, and they just dissolve in your water. So I think for me, these are just the easiest to do. I am not um, a pill person. I also think they have, like, pill forms. Um, but these are just tablets and they just dissolve in your water. So that's pretty cool. So I'm going to try those. So um, my goal, one of the goals too for working with um, my coach before we decided, you know, since I'm taking some rest, but I was supposed to um, really ump 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 my training runs on the weekend I was going to start running longer mileage 14 15 miles or so right so he really wanted me to focus on nutrition and that actually um is what I got some energy gels and electrolytes so those are very important for you know um 
electrolytes during, but um, or before and during. So during runs um, is super important. And then for post workout, so post workout, um, what's really important is carbohydrates, and protein. So you guys probably know um, chocolate milk. Chocolate milk is probably the most common thing that they that you hear that is a good post workout drink, right? Why? So I want to explain why. It's because of the ratio. It's because of the carbohydrate to protein ratio. So there's a four to one ratio of carbohydrates to protein, right? So four, hopefully I get this right and say this right, four grams of carbohydrates per one gram of protein. So really there's more protein or there's more carbs, right? But there's a little bit of protein with it. So any food, food source that you can get within 30 minutes, right, that's carbohydrates and protein, you're good, right? Um, so what I like to have, um, banana, banana's good, fruit. I love my fruit after a run. Honestly, I think it's too because it's juicy. Um, so I like to have fruit. Um, and also like inflammation, right? Fruit, like cherries, things like that. Oranges are great. Um, so I like to have fruit afterwards, um, but I also need protein, right? And a lot of times I see like after the race, like after a race, there's always carbohydrates, like a bagel. And usually, you know, I try to grab those, but I do want to get better at having my protein and make protein powder and making sure I mix that. So at least I have some protein I can drink right away. Cause that seems to be where I'm missing like after, um, after a race, my training runs a little bit different, right? Maybe I could try some, find some other protein real quick within that 30 minutes, but the protein shake, I think like after a run works the best because there's always a bagel or banana or something I can grab for my carbohydrates. But, um, that's super important afterwards. Um, protein I think is more important really afterwards before, Yes, it's still important, but really after because your muscles for protein, so protein your, are the building blocks of your muscles, right? So your body, when you run, you're breaking down muscle and it, protein repairs muscle, right? So after your run, it's especially important and it's going to help you in recovery. Um, it's going to help that soreness and recovery, right, um, quicker. So protein is definitely important um, after you run. So anyways, this is a and a So if any of you have any questions, I will answer them the best I can. Um, I was just explaining um, what to have pre, during, and after post-workout because I've been getting those questions and which are awesome questions. Um, I need to write, a, write up a blog post. So if you guys do have any questions, I can just head right there um, to that blog. But I love questions like that, um, like this, because it's perfect. Um, and it's, excuse me, and it's not always um, easy to do, and it takes time to learn. Um, I still feel like I'm learning a lot about nutrition and running, even though this is what I specialize in. I'm still learning, too. I'm still on this journey with you guys. Um, and right now I'm it's just the waiting game and I'm learning to be to be patient um, because that is so important right now, especially when you're injured. Um, you know, I'm not well, I shouldn't say I'm injured, I'm not really injured because I have gone to an orthopedic and physical therapist and you know, really don't know what is wrong. Um, I may I think I know what it is, but, um, you know, the only thing that's going to help is rest. So I'm just learning right now to be as patient as I possibly can. Um, but anyways, if you're here, let me know you're here. Um, wave, say hi. Let me know you're joining me. Let me know you're on. Um, and if you have any questions, let me know. Um, just comment below this video and I will answer them. Um, so we just see, we talked about pre post. So I mentioned what foods to eat pre workout during and after. Um, but what about 
talking about, how will we talk about carbohydrates? So I think I talked about that this week in one of my posts. Um, macros. Actually, let's just talk about macros. So macros, what are they? So they're carbohydrates, protein, carbohydrates, protein, and fats, right? So I mentioned those are, I mentioned all of those pre, during, and after your run, right? So those are what give, those are the, those are one of, each of them are one of the six main nutrients that our body needs. Um, and they give our body energy, which means they give your body calories. So when I'm developing a meal plan, and this is what I do for my clients, when I develop a meal plan, I break it down and figure out, you know, based on their um, activity, their runs, the intensity of their runs, as well as the length of their runs, and as well as their body weight, right, all that, what I do um, is I figure out, right, how, how much, with the percentage of macros they need, yeah, percentage, percentages, right, basically it's macro counting, but really what I do is figure out how much of calorie, how what percentage of calories need to come from carbohydrates, what percentage of calories should come from protein, what percentage of calories should come from fats. Then we break it down, and then from there I figure out how many grams. So that's what you can start to you know, figure out and you can record, um, but also I use an exchange system. So what I do is figure out how many exchanges, how many carbohydrates you need to eat on this day. Um, maybe, most likely, on a longer run day, you're going to have to add more carbohydrate exchanges into that day. So that's what we really do is figure out what's going to work or what's what works for you in your, you know, your, like, your body, <laughs> right? Um, it's, it's different. It's a little different for everyone, but there's markers and numbers that we can use based on your goals and as someone that's a runner. Um, so anyways, carbohydrates, protein, fats are essential. They're important, right? Everyone needs them. Um, but for runners, you need more carbohydrates um, because you're running and you need more energy and you need more glycogen stores, right? You're using them up. Um, so you're going to need more carbohydrates than the average person. So carbohydrates, I always stress this because um, I know a lot of people like to limit their carbohydrates. And I totally get it coming from someone that I know when I'm not in training season or I'm not running. If I eat a lot of like white starchy carbohydrates and I just, I just like, I can tell that I can just gain weight so easily um, if I don't move my body and I'm not using them up. And two, I want to make a point the the white starches for runners is great too because I know we always think like we want to get whole grains and we want to get more fiber. And yes, that is important. Um, but there is a difference between those white carbs, right, and those starch and those um, whole grains because white carbs are going to be more of your quick energy white rays. So I just want to say those are okay um, to have. Um, and same thing with sugar. Sugar is great. And that's really, I mean, these are natural and vegan, so I'm super excited. But really, these energy gels, um, what I've taken in the past, they are super sweet. And they're just quick. They're just sugar. Um, it's just syrup. So these are, um, there is brown rice syrup in it. Um, but there is, so it's fruit, right? So it's sweet, and there's also chia seeds in here. But they are, let's see, not a lot of protein, mostly carbohydrates, 22 grams of carbs and 14 grams of sugar, right? So it's carbs and sugar, and that's why I say fruit is good too. Um, and I just had this conversation actually with my client, and I um, had them do a diet recall. And I did a nutrient analysis and, you know, looked at what they've been eating. And I was like, hey, you're not eating any fruits. Is there a reason you guys, you're not eating any fruits? Um, and they're just like, well, I don't really like sweet. They don't really like sweet food or, you know, it goes bad. Well, you know, frozen. And then he asked me about frozen fruits. I was like, yes, frozen fruits, great. Just add it to your smoothie. Yeah. 
Um, but fruit's great because it is, it's sugar, right? Um, and maybe you're someone that stays away from sugar, right? But you do have to, you know, might have to change your mindset a little bit and understand that sugar gives your muscles energy. They're going to give your muscles glycogen that they need to run. And if you are looking for performance, if you are looking to increase your speed, then nutrition, you know, might be where you need to tweak a little bit, not just your training plan. And it can be your training plan that you might need to switch up and change up a little bit. Um, certainly, I have noticed the difference between working with a coach from when I was working on my own, and I've improved a lot faster. Um, and I, you know, I don't know if it's just exactly what that is, but it could just be the structure of the training plan works better, and I could have been pushing myself too much, or maybe I wasn't consistent enough, or maybe I wasn't doing, you know, those type of thought I was doing a good workout, but I wasn't quite pushing myself enough to really see benefits, or maybe I was doing too much um, and burning myself out. So there's that too. Um, so carbohydrates, yeah, carbohydrates are really important, um, a little bit more than general. So 50, I want to say it's 55 to 60%, and I believe for runners, 40, I think it's 45 to 65, like average, um, 50 to 65, I think, something around there, percentage of carbohydrates, calories should come from carbohydrates. Um, for plant-based runners, right, most of your, all your vegetables, starchy vegetables, those are all going to be carbohydrates, beans, right, um, they do have all carbohydrates in them, um, but it's still important to make sure to get those grains too in there. So brown rice, quinoa, things like that. Sweet potatoes, you know, that would be a starchy vegetable, things like that. They would all be considered carbohydrates. Okay, so the carbohydrates. What about protein? Let's talk about protein. So protein, I said, is important, right, before and after, especially after. Um, sources of protein tofu, tempeh, beans, right? Those are all great sources um, of protein. And it's okay if you don't want to do as much soy and want to do more beans, that's certainly fine. Or do a protein shake to try to get more, more protein. Um, and it may, it may be a little hard to get enough protein um, in your diet. Um, as someone that's plant-based, um, it's challenging, but I think if you really do plan and it, it's, it's possible, um, but you do have to, may have to plan or you may have to up your portions. I know for me, that's a big thing, excuse me, is I don't think I just eat enough, um, cause one cup of beans is a lot in one serving, but I may need more than that. Um, so that's a challenge. And then there's, um, what else? So there's beans, so beans, you know, tempeh, your soy, all that. Um, when I start talking about protein. Oh, consistent, um, consistency. Um, or I'm trying to say, so with protein, also after is important, as I said before, yes, especially after. The thing is with protein too, throughout your day, it's important for you, for a runner, to eat an even amount of protein or at least get protein throughout the day. So what that means is not just eat protein uh, all at once, like all at dinner time is to eat all your protein. Plus you're not, I don't think it's even possible as someone that's on plant-based, um, that's plant-based to eat that much protein in one sitting, but it's really helpful for your muscles to spread that out. Um, it's going to help the muscle synthesis for sure. Um, so that's really important and that can be, um, that can be challenging. Okay, so that's protein. So protein and protein amounts, that varies between, uh, you know, it just varies. Um, I want to say between like maybe 1.2 to 1.3 grams per kilogram. Average would be 0 0.8 grams per kilogram, so it's a little bit more. Not as much as you would want for somebody that's a bodybuilder, right? 
that are closer to probably two grams a kilogram. A two, yes, two grams per kilogram. So what I mean is per based on your weight. So grams is amount is based on your weight. So it really depends on your weight. And then there's um, fats, right? Yeah, that's our next macronutrient to talk about, right? So then we have fats. Um, so fats are also important. Um, and fats are important um, for a lot of reasons. Our bodies do need fat. So we kind of shifted, like, you know, a while ago. And they're kind of shifting our mindsets and changing things. Um, but... Um, way back when, right, they shifted to all this non-fat stuff. And then more evidence, you know, science came out and showed, well, wait a minute, we still need fats. We just have, need to eat more of the good fats, right? So now there's been this big, big push for eating more of the good fats, right? So what are those? Um, avocados, olive oil, nuts, right? Those are all... Um, sources of good fats that you can get in your diet and that'll help too um that is yeah, that's helpful too for um usually well your main muscle source your main source that your body uses for running is carbohydrates um and you know some people believe that you can tap more into those fat stores if you're on low carb diets but the thing is um you know, really carbs are just more efficient um, to use than your fat stores, but that does not mean that fat's still not important for runners. So that's still important um, to get some fat in there. Um, but I think I, I just, I do recommend and stress more, you know, focusing on carbohydrates and protein, um, I think are are quite important. Um, but I have been getting into my avocado, but my coach loves avocado too. So he's gotten me into eating more avocados um, for my good fat. So I do that. Um, yeah, so that's, that's pretty much it. So there's our macros. Um, is anyone on? I don't have any questions. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm losing my voice. So anyways, I think I talked pretty longer, longer than I usually do on these, um, days, so, oh, hi, Kevin, I didn't see any of the comments, and I just saw it, hi, <laughs> thanks for joining, um, so, I guess that's it for tonight, so I just talked a little bit about what to fuel for your body, um, as a runner pre, during, and post-workout, or post-run, um, and then also broke down why macronutrients are important, your carbohydrates, protein, and fats. So hopefully this video was helpful. Um, I am trying to keep up now blogging every week, so if you guys are interested and love a lot of this information, um, make sure to check out my blog. There may be more information that you can get from there. Um, also, I'll be uploading these videos on another platform to um, have them there for you guys. But of course, they are always somewhere where you can look for this video again if you want to watch it in the future or just message me and say, Kayla, I remember you talking about this and I really don't remember what you said, but <laughs> I would love to watch your video again. I'd love to talk with you. That's fine, too. So feel free to reach out to me if you guys have any questions based on anything I talked about tonight or, you know, anything else on, you know, feeling for your runs. Um, I know the more you get into training, if you are in training, you know, for a marathon especially, you know, really is where it gets um, – nutrition does get important. Um, and we don't always know, we think we know, or we think we're eating the right way, um, or we think we're eating healthy, but there's usually always improvements that we can make in our diets, um, especially for feeling for performance. And really the best marker is feeling better, um, is, is if you feel better and you notice the difference, right? Once you start um, changing the way you're eating, um, that's really how you're going to know if you're doing things right. So, you know, if you're not having much issues now getting through your runs, then maybe you're, you know, you're doing good. Um, or maybe you just want to 
you know, get a little bit faster and feel like, well, I don't know what else I could change in my runs. Maybe it's my nutrition, right? So if that's you, feel free to reach out to me. I love to work with you, try to figure it out, or we can just chat and help you. Um, so anyways, I hope you guys um, got something on this video. Thank you for joining, and I will talk to you guys all soon. Bye.